Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Straight Auto Brooklyn. Hey Otto, come say hi. You're the reason people are here. Mm -hmm. So Otto right now is five and a half months, and as you can see, he's gotten way bigger. Anyhow, now that we've spent more time together, I thought this would be a great time to tell you my top 10 used and most useful items. You know, you see a lot of puppy hauls, but some things people maybe don't end up using. Anyhow, here are my 10 favorite things that I use with my favorite, uh, I was gonna say human being, but yeah, my favorite person, ha ha ha. My favorite animal, my favorite everything, my son. So a very important thing you need is a good leash. So obviously you need a leash, but you know, and you're gonna be using this leash every day, multiple times a day, invest in a good one. So like everyone else, I got a six foot nylon leash and it was fine. I liked it. You know, I have my little knots here that they recommend that you have to control your dog and it was great. But then, you know, I was, I'd had a couple of drinks and I went into a pet store and I was like, ooh, what's this nice leather leash? And oh my God, it makes a difference. First off, it feels great on the hands. So when you're holding the leash, it just feels really good. And two, you know, if you have a dog, they love playing with other dogs and you end up playing that leash game. And when you have the leather, it just doesn't tangle with the other leashes. It stays pretty taut and it's just amazing. So, you know, invest, invest in a really great leash. I walk auto four times a day, so it's more than worth it. So this is super useful. I actually did a video of this um, using this paw wash. It's the Mud Buster Paw Wash. It's number one on Amazon, and it has been super clutch uh, this entire winter so far. Cause you know, Otto, here Otto, let's show off your beautifulness. So my, my gorgeous dog has very furry and very white paws, which means that after a, rainy walk or a snowy walk you know he needs to have a paw wash and instead of trying to give him a mini bath it's just nice to throw some water in here a little bit of um of his shampoo and then pop it in there's no water in here i'm just showing you how and voila nice and clean so get yourself a paw wash it's on amazon it's their number one bestseller it's amazing So next on the list is this Gamma Vittles Vault. It's a travel uh, food container. So one of the cool things for me at least is I can bring my dog with me to work. So I need to be able to have food at work for him and also here at home, obviously. I remember the first um, evening I was about to fill this up with food and then I was like, oh crap, I forgot to buy a water and food bowl to have at work. And imagine my happy surprise when I saw this. So you can take the handle off, one bowl, two bowls, and then in here, your food. Mmm, food. Um, let's see, I think it has eight cups, no, six cups. Six cups of food capacity. And I can say this lasts a really long time. So, you put it all back together. And then voila. A perfect little travel container. Also going along with this and it's actually made by the same company is this big guy right here. So it's a container for your kibble. It keeps everything nice and fresh. So just to keep everything clean I have a bag in here. It's filled with kibble. It's nice and closed and then you close this here and the food stays fresh. Oh wow, <laughs> as you can see, he loves this toy. And this toy. So these toys are actually from the first Pup Box subscription. Otto, you're killing my sound. Here, play with this one. Okay. <laughs> so he loves this hippo. This is actually uh, Hippo 2.0. I, I bought another one because we got this in his Pup Box and he loved it so much I got another one. It's available at Petco. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but for this, a pup box subscription is amazing. Like as, you know, I got it for Otto from the time he was eight weeks old 
and every book box that we've gotten has been absolutely perfect. And I'm saying we, like I live with someone, I live alone, it's just me and Otto, so Otto and I, every box that we get has been absolutely on point. They always know what's going on in Otto's um, life at that moment, and the toys are perfect. All his favorite toys are from the pup box. So this Adidog snowsuit, it's hilarious. And I actually bought it because I thought it would just be hilarious. I was shocked when I realized that it has come in super clutch and super important in our lives. So, you know, classic onesie, feet, arms. Can you say that about dogs? Okay, four paws. And then, you know, a little button opening. So the reason this has become so important to us is that when um, Otto walks in the snow, and there's been so much snow this winter, like if you go outside right now, snow everywhere. He ends up getting snowballs all in his fur. They all, I call them snow tumors because it looks so bad. And um, the first time in the snowstorm we went out and he wasn't wearing, you know, anything. And he came back covered in the snowballs. It took me an hour to get rid of them. And then his fur got super matted. So that's why he's actually looking so fluffy today. I, I took him to the groomers so that he could be dematted. And so he's, you know, handsome. But yeah, so now we wear the snowsuit every day and he doesn't get the snow tumors and he looks handsome. He looks like a very cute little soccer player. So a D-Dog, get you one. Next on the list is this drying coat, which I got from the UK. This was actually something I bought not thinking it would be that useful. I was like, oh, let me get Otto a drying coat. And you know, just for fun, I even had it <laughs> monogrammed with his name on it. Uh, as you can see, he loves it so much, he wants to eat it. I didn't think it would be as useful as it is. So whenever Otto comes in from the snow or he, you know, the rain and I have to give him a small bath, he absolutely hates, hates, when I try to dry him with a blow dryer. So I put on his handy dandy drying coat and he just chills in it and you know, it works and it's absolutely awesome, but he really wants it. So I'm just gonna let him have it. <laughs> yeah, I really like it, Otto. So number four on the list, um, and I forgot to say this is a descending list, so it's going from 10 to one, with one being the most useful. And um, I guess, you know, this is super useful. And <laughs> Otto, oh my God. So this is a puppy water bottle. And let's, you know, it looks like Otto's thirsty. Otto, one sec. Let's, okay, one sec, Otto. So the way it works is you squeeze it and water comes out. Otto, you can have some now. I guess my boy was super thirsty. Wow. Yeah. And what's nice is then the water just goes right back in. So if you're indoors and you just want to give your pup some water, you don't have to worry about how, where to throw out the leftovers. And it's just really handy to have. So whenever we go on super long walks in the morning, because we go about, about like an hour, an hour and a half, I always make sure I have his puppy water bottle with me. I'm completely out of them right now, and I ordered more on Amazon, but it's a bit back ordered, so I'm waiting. But um, the next thing on the list are grooming wipes. So they're basically just wet wipes for dogs that you use to clean their paws after a walk or whatever reason. You know, I'm a Caribbean girl, and we don't like to bring the outside in. Everything needs to stay, you know, at the threshold. We take off our shoes, and even for you know dogs, they need to make sure their paws are cleaned before they can enter the home. So. The grooming wipes that I use are earth balance ones. They're biodegradable, so they're good for, they're, well, they're not good for the environment, but they're better for the environment than others that you find on the market. So again, I'll have a link in the description if you want to get those ones. So the penultimate item on the list is a pig's ear. So when I was watching videos on puppy biting and Otto loves to bite, you know, he's already taken it, they tell you to get Benna bones, Nyla bones, all these puppy training bones. I can tell you not one of them worked. I've, you know, put the bones in the freezer. I've done everything. Absolutely nothing worked. The only thing that works 
is a pig's ear. Can I show it to the people, Otto? Yeah. Pig's ear. And the other thing that's really useful with the pig's ear is <laughs> Otto goes to work with me and we take cabs. And when we're in the back of the cab, you know, he tries to bite me or go crazy. And it's really nice to have the bone in the back so that he can just, you know, take some time and bite the bone instead of biting me. So yeah, so, you know, the, they're great trainers out there. They're smarter than me. They know more than me, but I can honestly say those Benna bones and those Nyla bones, they at least didn't work with my dog and my friend's dog, but a pig's ear. Okay guys, the number one, we made it. The number one thing you need for your growing puppy Treats, 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 yeah. Oh my God, all the treats. Oh, did I scare you? I'm sorry, Otto. Um, if you want to have a well-behaved puppy who can do lots of tricks, who, you know, is just perfect, you need to use treats. So I'm gonna tell you my top five favorite treats. So number five, this is new to our repertoire. It's these Charlie Bear um, turkey liver and cranberry treats. They're crunchy, he absolutely loves them. And they're only three calories per treat. So, you know, you can't go wrong. Next on the list, I never go on a walk without these. These are the Wellness Puppy Soft Bites. Oh, you want one? You want one? Okay. This is only because the people are watching. Okay, Otto. Auto sit. Yes, good. If you want your puppy to sit on command and do everything on command, make sure you have treats. So all the you know YouTube trainers and everyone recommend these. That's why I heard about these. But the Zooks uh, Mini Naturals, especially these peanut butter ones, he loves these. So we use them, again, they're super small, also only three calories, so they're great for training and you can you know, give them lots of treats and not worry about hurting their stomach or anything. And these next two are higher value treats. So these are real meat, uh, lamb and liver jerky. Auto hair, whenever I'm putting on my shoes, he loves, loves, loves to come and bite my shoelaces. So to put on my shoes in peace, especially my sneakers, I give him, you know, a piece of jerky, it takes him a while to eat it, and then I'm golden. I can put on my shoes. And finally, his absolute favorite treat, absolute favorite, right baby? Are these small batch lamb heart treats. Um, they're freeze dried lamb hearts and he goes nuts for them, as you can see right now. So, anyhow, Thanks so much for watching. Let's say goodbye. I know that it was a bit of a long list, but you know, if you're getting a puppy or if you already have a puppy and you need just, you know, some ideas on things to get for your dogs that are absolute staples, um, you know, for me at least, that's my list. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Let's say goodbye. Bye. Ciao, ciao.